So now let's see how we can use our progress bar script to let us know when processes have started. So let us begin by looking at the command online22. If we execute this command, it's going to start up 15 Docker containers. Now when these containers start up, they're not all going to start at once. Some will start just after a few seconds while others can take up to 3 to 5 minutes. So we'll use our progress bar to track the progress of the 15 containers starting. So 15 is your 100%, so we're going to reflect that within the variable online6. And then the way that we're going to tell when containers actually start is by looking to a command output. So your docker ps command, this can be used to tell when containers start. And what we're going to do to attain a value to set for the current variable is we're going to take a line count of this output. Once again, the current variable value is fed to the math within your progress bar function and is used to calculate and display the percentage of the actual containers that will actually start. Alright, so now let's explore that command before we actually run the script. So if we run docker ps, once again, this will tell us if we have any containers running on the system. And what's displayed here is just a header. If we wanted to get a line count of this output, then we could pipe this through wc. We can see that there's just one line. Alright, now, when your containers actually start up, they'll not only be given a process ID, but they'll also be given a container ID. So what we are going to do here is we're going to add this dash q to not only remove the header, but it's going to exclude everything else except the container IDs. So we'll use that to let us know when the containers have actually started. So right now we don't have anything running, we removed the header, so we don't have anything in this output right here. Alright, so now let's run the script and let's verify that we get that number when everything's done. So we go over here, job sh. So once again, you'll see some containers will actually start after a few seconds. However, for 100% of the 15 to actually have started, it's going to take anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes. Okay, so now we're at 100%, so let's run through a couple of those commands again. So if we take a line count here, we're going to see that there are 15. And if we actually wanted to see what it looks like without the line count, you know, piping it through WC, we're going to see those 15 container IDs. 